bag number one from our most recent video on Bring a Trailer. So I've got my phone here all beat up. It's got a bunch of cracks in it and I'm responding. I'm going to respond to some of your questions and comments about our most recent video on Bring a Trailer that I just sort of informally filmed with my brother while we were driving around New York City. Uh, so Patrick says, uh, dude, let us know when you travel. Uh, so I usually don't let people know when I travel. I didn't know there was so much demand for people to meet me. Uh, but just so all of you know, my next trip will be to Oklahoma City on the 29th. And if you we're, we're going to be doing a tech session there with the local Mercedes Benz Club. So if you contact the local section president, uh, then, and I'll, I'll post their information once this video goes up, uh, you can actually attend the tech session and that could be like an informal meet and greet if I have anyone in Oklahoma City that wants to meet me. Um, Carl and user Lily of the Valley Rising. I don't know what your name is yet, but I'm sure you have a beautiful name. <laughs> Um, anyway, both of them were, were hoping that I'd come to Maryland. Uh, that may be in the card. So both of you, both of you don't, don't worry about it. Lily, I want to meet your two, your, your 1984 50 SL as well. I think it's great that you work on your car. <laughs> she actually works in her own car, everybody. So in case you feel like you can't work on your car, uh, there are other people that don't have a ton of mechanical background that are figuring their Mercedes out. And the 1984 SL is not an easy car to work on. It has a lot of quirks about it. Um, Sergio comments from Argentina. He recently bought a Corvette Stingray 1976 for $10,000 from BAT in Arizona. Well, Sergio, I wish you good luck. The 76 was one of the toughest Corvettes to live with. I hope it ends up being a good car because... Most Corvette guys don't like them, but if it's a nice car, then I guess you could take all the emissions equipment off. Um, let's see here. What were some of the other things that uh, people say? Well, Mike says that he would never buy a car from Bring a Trailer. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm a little harsh in Bring a Trailer sometimes. My friend Dean Lumbach, I know Dean pretty well, and I know how hard he works to bring his cars to market. He definitely doesn't sit around in his butt, spray them with some, some McGuire's quick detail and put them online. Like I know the guy's working really hard on, on making them decent. So there are certain people that I would buy cars from and bring a trailer, but uh, not everybody. You know, not everybody goes in that category. But anyway, Mike, uh, let's see what Mike said. Mike, uh, Mike saw this 350 SDL just skyrocket when it went on Bring a Trailer. So there's some really serious bidders watching Bring a Trailer, and there's some really serious people waiting to take advantage of them. Then Alexander left a really cool comment. He said, Pierre, what about tire sizes, particularly the 220S, 230, 280, 280s and se and the 300 se that is a lot of tire sizing if you would like to know which tire size goes in your car then well i could answer these questions for you on the 220s you're going to use a 13 um uh let's see here a 180 70 13 same for the 230, for the 280, a 185, 70, 14. And for a 300 SE, you're going to use a, like a 205, 70, or 65, 15. Doug asks, do I see an upside in the 560 SEC? To answer Doug's question, honestly, yes, there is big upside in those cars now, especially for well-kept 90 and 91 models with under 100,000 miles. Those cars have gone from being $10,000 cars to like 20000 25000 Russ Haig comments that BAT is actually a pretty big company 
uh, that there's a lot of effort that goes into making it work, and that's true. They have their own strategies, such as negotiating the reserve instead of you getting to decide what it is. And <laughs> Carl asks, again, if I was in New York for an emergency service. And yes, we were performing an on-site service in New York. We will do on-site service for any customer. If it's out of state, it's $600 plus plane tickets and accommodations and rental car fees if necessary. We don't mind doing it because it's, it's really fun work. But I always tell people you have to know exactly know exactly what the status of your car is and be willing to send us a bunch of pictures and, and communicate with us clearly. So anyway, that takes care of our mailbag. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like it and please share and please subscribe if you haven't yet and give us a thumbs up and enjoy driving your Mercedes Benz. And we hope to see you in Oklahoma if you're in that area for our tech session at the end of the month.